Welcome to Sabbath School today. We appreciate your joining us in this session entitled Seeing the Goldsmith's Face. Dear Father in Heaven, open our hearts to receive the gospel message. In Jesus' name, Amen. Is it possible that sinners, like all of us are born to be, can overcome sin and become truly Christ-like in character? Can the righteousness of the law, that is, perfect obedience, perfect loyalty, can it ever be achieved in this life? The Bible quite clearly says all have sinned and continue, present tense, to come short. Romans 3.23 our very nature is sinful, and even saints can't help showing that they are sinners. Nobody is perfect. So is perfection of character an impossible dream? The Bible insists on a good news answer, and that is yes. God sent his beloved son into the world on a special message, mission to save his people from their sins and not in them. Matthew 1 21. Romans 8 3 and 4 says that he was sent to condemn sin in the flesh that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. The word righteousness used there means the righteous character of those who walk after the Spirit. It's the original word in the Greek dikaiomata meaning the imparted righteousness of saints. Revelation 19.8, whereas dikaiosune always is the imputed righteousness of Christ. Hebrews 13.21 says that the Savior will make you perfect in every good work to do his will. And Revelation 14.1-5 describes a people at the close of time who are without fault before the throne of God, who follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. Not part way, but totally. They will refuse the mark of the beast and will receive the seal of God. Revelation 13, 6, 16, 17, and chapter 7, 1 through 4. Now, are these fanatics? Are they extremists? Are they straight laced, grumpy old saints? No way. Jesus got in on the perfection debate himself on the good side, good news side. He said, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. Matthew 5, 48. And in saying so, he gives us the key to unlock the perplexity. His context is learning to love like the Father loves, who sends his rain and sunshine on the just and on the unjust, who loves bad people, even his enemies. Jesus' idea of perfection is simple, learning to love like that. John learned the idea from him, for he also says that if you've le learned to love like that, you know God, you're born of God, he dwells in you, you have his spirit, and you yourself dwell in God. Furthermore, you overcome fear, which goes along with sin. And you end up perfect. See 1 John 4, 7 through 18. True, you and I were born totally bereft and void of such love, agape. But there is a filling station of the, where the Holy Spirit sheds his love abroad in our hearts. We are told in Romans 5, 5. Or to change the metaphor, it's the simple matter of going to school to learn it, the school of Christ. The best, proudest person must matric matriculate through the kindergarten and the upper levels of higher education in learning to love. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for giving us hope of overcoming sin through Jesus and his taking on our flesh and overcoming for us. It's his gift to us. We thank him in Jesus' name. Amen.